This week's episode of The Shit Show, sponsored by Yallybird Top Shelf Cannabis, features stunt biker Darius Kashabi. Thanks for listening in, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Apple Music, Spotify, and YouTube. Shut the, I didn't know they had one at the dollar store. I think, or it's either a dollar store or, gro- or maybe grocery outlet. She'll get it for like a dollar, a dollar a bottle. No way. Yeah. What, what kind of wine is it? If you want to find the cheapest place to buy anything, you talk to my mom. moms. Yeah, my mom is the same way. She's like super, super frugal, dude. <laughs> Rosemary's a shit. She's yep. Does your mom live around here or what? Yeah, she's Martinez. <clears throat> Remember when you got one video you had of her in the car, took her for a ride? Yep. I know, scared the shit out of her because I always wanted to do that back in the day um, to like film like people's facial expressions because all the times I'd give people rides like my 240Z and the seat wasn't bolted down like I hit the gas and the seat would go flying backwards and you know but none of the, all the cameras were so big yeah they weren't GoPros yet yeah so you get you know you couldn't really have it like mounted on the dash <clears> or whatever and got a VH test, VHS VHS tape in the fucking yeah, we day. had like a VHSC tape or whatever you know and then uh once the GoPro came out like I had it mounted and like she didn't even know it was there like didn't even yeah didn't even see it so it was it was awesome that was funny as shit she was fucking yeah that was yeah, funny as shit was, she was screaming now she can't handle it if I, I try to put it in the car she wouldn't get in the car I'm surprised yeah. she would get that in was, a car with that you. was like eight eight nine years ago so so she just doesn't go in a car with you if you're driving no she does but um so if I even like go like five miles over the speed limit, she's like yelling at me, you know, like slow down. I'm like, We're, we That's haven't even hit 65 funny. yet on the freeway, mom. Like, relax. How did you get started doing all this stuff? I take it your mom had nothing to do with it. Um, no, I just, you know, always wanted, uh, I, my friends had bikes when I was like, uh, 16. My buddy had a 91 Jixer 750 with 1100 Katana motor in it. And, you know, there was no helmet law back then. Yeah. And we used, you know, like, I never had a bike, so I'd be like, hey, man, like, I'll, I'll give you my 510 for the day. Like, let me get that Jixer. Get a badass 510. little f- square body back in the day, Dotson. Pumped yeah. up. So we, we would trade, and then um, <clears throat> I didn't really know how to ride the bikes that well, and they were so heavy. You know, they were tanks. And um, I got in a high-speed chase with Pleasant Hill Police. I was actually driving down Contra- or driving down uh, Gregory yeah. and Michelle was driving next to me in her Camaro. The blue Camaro? The one that had the bullet holes in it. Yeah, the one that uh, we flipped and it totaled oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, in the car you, when she flipped it, yeah, doing fucking yeah. like 90 around the, yeah. Was that up on Pleasant Road or It was something? a Taylor Gary split. Yeah, yeah. It was raining and she thought she could take the fuck corner at 90 fucking miles an hour in the rain and we fucking flipped that thing, shit, I don't know how many times. Yeah, my buddy just totaled his uh, Viper <clears throat> on that same exact turn. Going there must be so part. many wrecks there. Yeah, because it's slick and it's kind of like yeah. going downhill. So you're No losing. apex. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, uh, I was riding next to her, and she pulled up next to me, and she's like, hey, and like, I was just, you know, like, did a couple of power wheelies, and I put it down, and I seen fucking Officer Pratt fucking <laughs> running across the street, and I'm like, oh, fuck. So I hit the turn onto Carter's Avenue by my mom's house and just fucking hammered it, hit a pothole, and I tank slapped that thing all the way down the street. I was falling off the side, like, only thing was hanging on the bike was my left leg, or my right leg. Oh. It tank slapped so bad, it smashed my thumb because they had like a little side mount uh, steering damper. And then the bike just stopped. And I got back up on it, still going about 40, and went to get on the brakes, no brakes. Smashed <laughs> through a neighborhood. Ended up in the old Pleasant Hill High School. Drove through the, drove through the corridors, you know, right through the, uh, the field. Parked it behind the baseball diamond. Took my shirt off, covered the taillight so they couldn't see the reflection, and I sat there, and then the cops were just like, usually you ditch the cops, you don't really see the aftermath of what goes on, and I was like right in the middle of the whole shit, and the cops were fucking everywhere. All just chasing they were just, you. They were just Spotlight, swarming. and they were swarming everywhere, and I was like, I was stressing out so bad, I was going to just walk out in the middle of the street and just fucking throw my hands up. Like, but you know better than that. And, I, and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, so I fucking started going down the creek, I was, like, fighting with fucking raccoons and fucking possums and shit, like, crawling through the middle of the creek. Ended up running through a bunch of people's yards, and I ran over to the uh, Black Angus. And it was, like, one in the morning, and I go running into Black Angus, fucking bleeding all over my hand, got sticker bushes all over me, and everybody's <laughs> looking at me like, what the fuck? What? I, what the fuck I went in the bathroom, this? went to the phone booth, fucking called my buddy Steph, and I'm like, hey, your bike's been the fucking baseball diamond. Picked that shit up, and I was like, I'm never fucking riding street bikes again because I'm going to fucking kill myself. Really? How old and were you at this 16 point? 16 or 17. 16, you, you went from not riding bikes at all? 
I remember that I had the Harley. Like the Harleys yeah. are fucking lame. Bikes are stupid. And then like a month later, you're doing wheelies down the freeway. Yeah. So that was like uh, I didn't ride a bike till I was like 24 again. I wrote, bought a bunch of little pocket bikes. And I got like a Sears car, then a Macy's car, and I like, built my credit up and got like some <laughs> little from the, you know, RM motorcycles. Yeah. Rick. So I bought like. Rick, yeah, he's yeah, still I, there. Yeah, I know. Fucking crazy. He's been right? there for fucking 40 years. I know, dude. There's still Sears out there? <clears throat> no, yeah. that's Rick, his RM. Yeah. They sell mini bikes and jap bike, little yeah, jap bikes. So I like went there and like filled out like a little application form because yeah, I didn't have a thousand bucks to fucking buy it. Like got a loan and then uh, bought two of them, fucked myself up on those things big time. What were they? Just those these oh, little well, fucking things. Oh, the old ones, yeah. or the jab bike ones. Yeah, and then um, and then uh, my buddy Tom Sogel came over to my house. He bought a '98 R1, and I was like, "Fuck, I gotta ride it, dude!" And I rode it down the, the highway four, and I was like, "Holy fucking shit, power!" Like, it was just so much different than the old Jixxer. So then I uh, went over to Conquer Motorsports and fucking <laughs> filled out the app, and I got approved. And I was like, "Oh shit!" Here we go. Here we I go. bought the Ducati that lasted like a year. What happened to the Ducati? Just I, had to, I sold it. It was just, oh. you know, heavy. and But I used to go uh, race it up through Bear Creek and stuff a lot. And there was like, a couple guys, like all the people at the wall were like, you know, certain fast guys. And then we'd be like, all right, let's go. And then we'd, you know, chase each other all the way through. And a few of those guys were dead. And one of them got paralyzed. You know, and like we started putting better tires, went the slicks. And then I uh, started doing wheelies more and then bought the 2000 R1. And it was, it was over when I got on that thing. It was it was the best because like back in the day like you know the cars I remember trying to ditch a, ditch the cops in my five ten right and I was I had like four people in the car and and before that I used to have a tape recorder under my front seat so when the cops would pull up I hit the fucking record button and we would just talk fucking hella shit to the cops like you know just to get the reaction and get them pissed off and then we would listen to it again so they knew. So I did it a couple times, and then I got pulled over, and they were like, hella nice to me. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> they knew I had the tape recorder. Really? Yeah. Pleasant Hill? Yeah. So That's then fun. one time I fucking, uh, I was trying to ditch this cop, dude, and my car was so slow. I'm like, I was literally banging gears, and he's catching me. You know, and I'm like, fuck, I had to pull over. And he's like, where's the fucking tape recorder? Where's the Shut up. I was like, oh, shit. And then I had fucking people that I'd passed. They pulled up. And they're like, I want to make a citizen's arrest on this fucking, this guy, you know, because I almost hit a few people and the cop was like, get the fuck out of here, you know, we're handling this stuff. But yeah, it was nuts back then. Whatever happened to 510? You sold it? I just sold it like a couple years ago. It sat really? in my mom's garage for like 20 years. Yeah, I mean, that thing was bad as fuck. Yeah. And then Boxed I was like, out, flared. That thing was just, it was, it was sick. Yeah, I thought, I'm like, I'll, I'll build it up again. And I'm like, I'm too old to be driving around a fucking 510. <laughs> yeah, I can't be going back. Getting in and out of that motherfucker's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's just like, it's Roll just, cage. The new cars are so much faster. Like, fucking minivans got 400 horsepower. You yeah. know, like, everything runs 11s and 12s. And like, Crazy, Back huh? then, that was like the, that was like a That was a shit, man. You were happy if you got 11s. Oh, yeah. That was like a full-on drag car back then. Yeah. When was the last time you got chased by the cops doing like a high speed? <laughs> um... Probably, uh, I was probably like 2012. That long ago, huh? You need to get out more, bro. Allegedly. You need to get allegedly. You need to get out more. Yeah, I was coming through the neighborhood, and uh, it was right when that the fucking cell phone law came into place. You couldn't talk on your cell phones. And I hit a hit a right corner, and there was a cop parked at the intersection, like watching the stop signs. You were in a car, or a bike? Yeah, I was in a car, and I was. I hooked the right. And I look over, and it's a female cop, and she saw me, and I put the phone down. I'm like, sorry, you know, try to wave, like, play it off. As soon as I passed her, I seen the fucking reverse lights uh, click up because she went from <clears throat> park yeah. to drive. She was flipping it, and I'm like, fuck. There go. And I just fucking hammered it. <laughs> Started fucking smashing through the neighborhood, and it's, like, super bumpy, so my car just fucking bounced. What car was this? It's the Z06. Oh, oh it's yeah, when you're the vet. Just scraping, bottoming out all over the fucking place. And uh, I made it pretty far, and then I passed a couple that was like walking their dog, mm. and they were they were pretty pissed off. And uh, I'm thinking, okay, well now the cops gonna come up to that person. They're gonna be like, that motherfucker went that way, you know? Right. So I dipped to the neighborhood, I went past my house, parked it like down the street, ran to my house, pulled the Viper out of the garage, ran back to the Z06. You know, this is like I'm running like marathons here. Like back to the Z06, put the Z06 in the garage, close the garage door, 
And my girlfriend at the time was like, what the fuck is going on? And when I tried to talk to her, I couldn't even, I couldn't even speak. Yeah. I was like, uh, just like hyperventilating. Yeah. Like I literally could not talk at all because of all the running and the adrenaline. <clears throat> How many cops are, are behind you at this point? You it think? was just one. Like just, I, I, she I, probably I, called for backup. I ghosted her like pretty quick. She was probably pretty embarrassed. That she got smoked so quick, but um, that's fucking great. Yeah, it was it was dumb, but I had to have a license at the time. So she, you never got in trouble for that ever. No, no that's fucking awesome. You ever did any cops in the was it the Lambo or the Ferrari? What was it? No, 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 I never in that. No, I did in the Viper. Um, I was rolling um through Pleasant Hill, right by that monument statue. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and my buddy was behind me and uh. I just rolled on second gear and just fucking baked it sideways. And I was getting on the free right there. And I looked in my mirror and I seen the fucking cop lights on smashing after me. And I was like, motherfucker. You know, like if I, if you do something, you know you're going to jail. Right. You know, either, might as well try either to way. get away. So I hit the freeway, hit third, went all the way to the fucking uh, carpool lane. And it was clear. It was like a good amount of traffic, but the carpool lane was clear. Banked fourth, fifth, went all the way down. Got off the off ramp. I took the inside lane. Then I jumped out and went to the opposite outside lane and, and took the, like a different. You can cut the curb over there. Hit a bunch of lefts and rights. And my buddy was behind me. Saw the whole thing and he was like kind of speeding up, like kind of follow the cop. He said the cop did everything that I did except for one turn. Where I went left, he went right. Well, and lucked I, and out. That was, it, you know, that was easy. But, but yeah, can't they find you? I mean, didn't they have your license plate? No, I was I was no. too far ahead of them. Like Holy if he was right behind me. That's one thing. I, I would, yeah, you know, I'd be like, all right, but he, he wasn't close enough to me to ever get my plate. You know? The old adrenal or miss those adrenal rushes? No, you start fucking freaking you out when you do that shit. As we get older, you start, you know, when you do that shit too much, like start having like nightmares of like, yeah. fucking cops chasing you all the time, and just how often have you? How many times have you actually been pulled over or actually like like caught by doing that? Caught never, never. never so never. you've holy shit, that's never. I, well, I did kind of get. Cop, but not like directly. Like I was smashing down the 680 on my R1, and like I would just I would ride back and forth to Pleasanton all the time, and I would just go like 120 miles an hour on the freeway, just just dipping in and out of cars, like no license plate, no mirrors. And I was going one time, coming back, and I kept hearing this like this whistling noise, and sometimes like your visor will make like little yeah, whistling yeah. noises. Yeah, yeah. Little air somewhere. Yeah. And you start tripping, and I I kept I, was, I kept looking over to my right because I was in the fast lane. And there was nobody there, and I'm just like going. And then I look over to the left, and the cop is in the shoulder, in the fucking gravel. In a car like, or a bike? In a car. Huh. And I looked over, and he was just like fucking yelling at me, dude. Like, fucking pull over. He's throwing his finger at me, and I just like dropped to the third. Bow. And I was gone. And then uh, about six years later, <laughs> uh, yeah, seven, eight years later, <clears throat> I was trying to get a sponsorship from a, a Honda store up in uh, Sonora, and I drove my truck with uh, my wife at the time up there, and um, I pull up to the dealership, and there's a CHP sitting in the parking lot. And I'm thinking, like, I'm way far away from home. This dude doesn't know who I am. <laughs> you know, whatever. I go in, the, go in the store, have a meeting with these people for like an hour, and the guy's like, hey, you want to grab lunch? So I'm like, all right, cool. The cop's gone. And I'm like, all right, no problem. I hop my truck, fucking make it about... 300 feet down the street boom he's on my ass and he's like there he is pull over to the left and i was like oh, oh no. i'm fucked i'm so fucked right now dude i pull over dude and he comes up to the window and he's like there's a shabby fucking sb freaks fucking sir doing willies on the fucking freeway running from the cops and just starts letting me have it and i'm i'm looking at his face and i was like that's that motherfucker. That's that motherfucker. That was sitting, that was sitting next to me. He's and been I was looking like, for you for so, years. He was so fucking pissed. Like, you know, normally, like, you do something dumb, like, they'll give you a little bit of shit. He was like, he I've was had that a lot when my cops. Finally? Like, yeah, they, they're, the, like, really, really upset, you know, which I can understand. Can they not do anything since it's been so oh, long? Or? No, he didn't get me for that, but I had a sus uh, suspended license, so he fucking towed my oh, truck. Oh, fuck. When I was, like, three hours away from him. Towed my truck, gave me driving on suspended. Which is, was only suspended because I didn't pay like a fucking front, front, front license plate ticket or yeah. something, you know, in San Francisco. So, yeah, he got me good. It cost me like, you know, set, it was on my record for seven years. Oh, fuck. It cost me like 1500 bucks to get my truck out. Another like, you know, $800. Just fine. Stuck at you. He got me good, but not as good as I got him. <laughs> <laughs>
It still felt way better. <laughs> Cheers to that fucking officer. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Yeah. You know, I was just seen the other day. It's like, why do they fucking throw cop like high, high patrol? This freeway is dedicated to this cop that died. Nobody wants to drive down the road and realize what fucking cop gave them a fucking ticket. Ain't that some after somebody that enjoys the fucking freeway, you know? Yeah, I was so pissed when he did that shit to me. Like right where the police station was, they had like these signs in the road, like this highway is sponsored by. Yeah. I was gonna fucking call up that place and sponsor, like pay whatever money and sponsor that fucking section of the because <laughs> you get any business can sponsor it. Right. Right. Uh, I wouldn't just, sp- I'll, I'll just so we have to drive by and see my fucking name every on the side day. of the road every day, dude. I was How much like, was oh. it? Did you? Did they? Remember? Was, I don't know. Like you know, you see the little thing like our computer or this place is like sponsors certain. Yeah. Sections that they pay for the cleanup or whatever. I don't fucking. That's know. fucking funny though. That would have been fu- that would have been just straight class act. I know because he did. He was the last. You know, he who, he who laughs last laughs hardest. So he did get me the last. But well, like here's one of the old SBF stunning SF VHS tapes, and I remember this tape being on the shelves at Cycle yeah. Gears. It's still in the plastic. Twenty too, man. years, oh, like twenty yeah. something years ago, right? What year was these? Let's see this yeah, thing. the shitty thing about those is when you threw them into the crowd. And, and you, somebody wouldn't be looking, you, they get fucking beamed in the head by a VHS tape. <laughs> and then if, 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 if they didn't catch it, they'd be coming back to your tent like five minutes like, hey, uh, you threw this at me, but it's broken. Can I get another one? Right, like, like, oh, fucking, fucker. Take that shit home and glue it up. Yeah, but like, this shit's I'm surprised not you guys didn't get in trouble for any of these because a lot of these were stunts on the freeway too. I mean, there's yeah. going across the Bay Bridge in a wheelie. Yeah, but I mean. Nowadays, they, like, they find shit like that on the internet and they go after the person for it. Well, yeah, like my buddy Guru, he, um, he basically just filmed some people like doing stuff on the freeway but the cops were you know like when we would diss the cops back in the day like we wouldn't sit there and you know antagonize them and fuck with them right. and like blatantly disrespect them like just we'd, just be, on the we'd be gone you know like these guys are just antagonizing them and they were like telling the cop to get the fuck out of here and you know punking them and then it went like on the news oh wow big time like and so then they ended up coming like raiding his house no shit yeah. huh? shit yeah, I remember a big accident. What year was that? My uh, one right by my house. Two thousand two or something. <clears throat> Doing wheelies down the freeway. Was it two forty two? Yeah. And fucking just start fish tailing. Yeah, and it was dumb because we always got that spot over on Bates, you know, yeah. in the back. It's all it's out all there. built out buildings yeah. now. But uh, the day before, I did like a whole bunch of <laughs> whole bunch of donuts, and I was doing donuts to the left, donuts to the left. So my tire was like super worn on mm. one side. You know, so when you pull up a wheelie, it just wants to pull pull to the left, pull right. to the left. And both my pegs were broken, so my pegs were like an inch long. Your, your riding pegs or yeah, your passenger the, pegs? the riding pegs were like this big. Oh, fuck, do you stay on those? Just with the fucking tippy toes, man. Uh, so, like, it's, you know, they're only like maybe two inches. Like, so they were like halfway broken down, and um, I was doing a wheelie. It was pulling, 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 and I was trying to fight it back. And then once it, like, came back to center... I had the bright idea to like try to jump to the tank, and when I jumped, my foot slipped off the peg, and then boom! You know, you fucking went back, and I like, cracked the throttle, and you know. The nothing. video's on YouTube. Yeah. And you literally ran across the freeway, and and turns out you had two broken legs at the time. Yeah, I know. It's funny when you see these guys like hit the <laughs> ground, and they're like sitting insane. there, like oh, like crying, like I don't know, maybe because I was going so fast. Adrenaline. But like halfway through the crash, I realized where I was. I realized all the cars that I had passed. And that most likely they were right there behind me still. And well, as soon as I got up, I just, right? yeah, she was with me. You could hear her voice on the yeah. thing. Oh, shit. I just got up. I looked into oncoming traffic and then just fucking booked it. You know, like I wanted to make sure like if I had to like fucking do a frogger real quick. And then I just just ran across and then. Turns out you had two broken legs. Yeah, you literally weird, ran like, you across the freeway. Like, you didn't feel anything, like any pain. Like, so much like, like is anything wrong? And I'm like, I don't know. And, you know, it took me about 30 seconds and then shit starts burning like really bad. And I'm like, all right, my wrist is broken. And then my foot's broke. You know, it's like all these burn, like intense, like deep bone burn pain started setting in where I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, you look fucked. And I, just, hospital I, photos, I left, you look I left fucked. my bike right in the middle of the freeway. I think it was just doing fucking donuts. <clears throat> Holy and, uh, shit. They gave you a ticket for that? So, well, yeah. So I was in the hospital <laughs> for like five days. And, uh, Broke it up too. Yeah, I was fucking rashed up. I leave the hospital. My mom, or I think my mom or Mindy was taking me home. And right when I'm leaving, two CHPs on bikes are rolling to John Muir. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of, you know, could be anything, whatever. <laughs> Coming I for get your home. Ass. I get home like 10 minutes later. I'm in my fucking, in my gown, my walker. Knock, knock, knock. It's fucking two CHPs on bikes. I'm like, motherfucker. And they're like, so, man, oh, you know, tell us what happened. They're like, what happened? When you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm like, I just, I turned around and looked. Just I just rolled, fell off my bike, 
you know, and they're like, oh, come on, man. They're like, you know, we have your, D- your VHS and um, can we get a video? Can you give us a video? I'm like, fuck no, you can't get a video. Like, go to fucking store and buy one if you want one, you know? And they're like, oh, man, we know we got stump bikes too. And they were just trying to, you know, just trying to, be, trying to buddy you up to get you to fucking Yeah, buddy me up all this time and like kept saying all this shit. And then like, after like 20 minutes, I'm like, fine, dude, I did a fucking wheelie. I crashed. Big deal. What, what the fuck do you want? Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. So then they left. I never got a ticket, never got nothing. Really? But then, no. And then, That's so, then on my, and my DMV record showed up. Boom. Two points, accident, freeway. <gasps> no, no ticket, no nothing, no court. Just appeared on my fucking driving record that I crashed. Trippy. Yeah, it was weird. Without a court date or anything? Without nothing. Huh. I never heard of that. Just an accident just appeared up on there. I never, you ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. I wasn't going to... Dis- I mean, it was weird. It's better than the ticket. just showed up, dude. Yeah. I know. It was strange. I've never broken a bone ever. You're gay. You don't do shit. No, but that has nothing to do with that. But it literally, does. You like, don't do anything. No, but I just don't do anything stupid like that. I guess. You just don't do anything. I'm. I'm also afraid of getting a broken bone. So yeah. Yes. I, I know people that don't even like. Yeah. I saw. I talked to guys. And I'm like, you ever had stitches? And they're like, no. I'm like, how the fuck did you, I? I made it like. <laughs> I, did, I like when I was when I was one years old. I was walking with a pen in my hand, and I fell and it went straight through the roof of my mouth. I cut like a huge hole in like the palate and the root of my mouth, Jesus. and that was my first hospital visit. Well, when I was like three years, three days old, I got stung by a bee. And Dude, like that you was you know like live right now. I mean, like when you're a baby, you get stung by a bee. They don't know if you're allergic yet. Yeah. If you are allergic as a baby like that, you That's, you're dead probably. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, when I was like five, I was running up a hill, cut my thumb off on a glass bottle. Fuck. And that my whole fucking arm, my whole thumb flipped back, and I went running down the hill. And I was just bleeding all over, and this lady grabbed me. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I went like that, and my thumb just, like, flopped back. And she just just, just was like, ah, like, <laughs> step back. And I ran, ran the pizza off, and that was, like, my first surgery where I had to get knocked out, and they reattached all my tendons so and You're shit. just numb to all this kind of stuff. Like, no, fuck, no, it dude. still hurts, but it fucking, I don't know. Like, some people, you know, like, my dad crashed a motorcycle once, and he's like, I'm never going to ride again. <laughs> like, for me, like, I mean, now, as I get older, it, you know, it lasts a little bit cautious. longer, but initially it'd be like you fuck yourself up, and like two days later, like I'm ready to go again. Yeah, you know, you still const- ride a lot. You still do stunting? No, no. You don't stunt ride no more? No, hell no. Why not? I don't want to because I was landed on the ground all the time, and it just it's there's just no there's just no it. money. It's just oh, it's a bunch of Instagram fucking stunners now, like because you were one of the originals to do it. That's yeah, back like here, MySpace yeah. or before MySpace. Yeah, way before MySpace. <clears throat> it was like one of the original. It was fun back then. It was new, you know. Yeah, now well, the just, original stunners now around. It's just washed. It's just not like it's not cool anymore. Nobody was doing it. Yeah, like but back in the day, like you'd see people doing wheelies on the freeways all the time. Now you don't even see that. We do once, once in a while. It's very, very people rarely. are doing Harleys now, which is really yeah, trippy yeah, looking. Exactly the whole Harley. Thing fucking seven hundred something pound fucking bike, fucking wheeling down the freeway. What's a normal jet bike weigh? Uh, about four hundred fifty pounds. Okay, so it's still pretty fucking heavy. Yeah, Harley's around seven hundred. Yeah, but that's just getting hella fucking trendy too, dude. It's, I know everybody in the world's doing it. Gay, like fucking everything, the Sons of Anarchy or whatever. Like <sighs> fucking everybody got that same exact fucking bike, the same handlebars, same, same Dinos, everything. same fucking. Yeah. F- I hate Dinos. Straight yeah. fucking. Everybody's got that shit. Fuck, dude. I hate Dinos. You either got a Dyna or like a bagger with like twenty fucking speakers on it. What happened? So what happened to your Viper? You were telling us. Oh, uh, the Viper. Um, yeah, I had just a little bit of issues with it, but it's going to be back better than ever now. So they will know he has a I Viper that he just gave to a company in Texas to redo his motor and twin turbo the fucking Viper out. Yeah. And how many horsepower is it supposed to produce? It's going to do like 15, 16. As soon as I get it back, I'm, I'm going I'm to put a GoPro on a, like I'll put a stick off Jimmy's head with the GoPro like that make right, you feel in, better? right in his face. Yeah, That's one big stick. Good. You see the side of his fucking head? And I'm going to unbolt the fucking seat. No seat belts. <laughs> Back in the Datsun 240 I'm just going to take the seat out and you can just grab onto the fucking the oh shit handles. And yeah, he used to have a Datsun 2, or he still has a Datsun 240Z. Yeah. It was actually famous on YouTube for fucking ever. Yeah. He raced Jap bikes and beat Jap bikes yeah. in a fucking Datsun 240Z with a 350 in it. I remember yeah. one time we were 18, 19, we're driving it, we pulled up next to this Mustang. And in the back, I remember the sticker said, one kick of the sting and the heartbeat is dead. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. On, on, on I that, yeah. The guy's yeah. like revving up, so we're revving up. That, dude, when we took off, the guy ended up just backing out hella fast. He's like, he just realized he was overchallenged. Yeah, that was a fucking fun car, dude. I love you that car. You don't really car. drive it that much, huh? Trust me, when you drive in that car, you want to be getting out of that thing in like fucking five now minutes. Now they drive technology. No, just because the exhaust comes out of the hood. There's no windows. 
it pumps out a ridiculous amount of fumes. So like your like your eyes will just be burning. Really? Why? Because it's got a four inch exhaust coming straight out of the hood. Like my exhaust is like a foot long. It goes turbo out the hood. Oh, uh, so it just goes straight in your fucking face. Straight in your eyes. Yeah. So I mean, why don't you just turn it down? <laughs> it doesn't look as cool without it coming out the hood. <laughs> You never you did nitrous on thing. Beauty once, is pain. You? Yeah, I did. Uh, had, I had I had Tri Valley build the motor, and they did a super shitty build on it. Where um, and they used to be a really good motor builder for our area. They, they were a very they, known motor. That builder. guy Amos is a fucking idiot. So I told him I wanted like nine and a half to one compression, and then uh, I ended up building the heads on it. And the head builder was like, you know, measure how far your pistons are down in the hole. Yeah, just and they were like a fucking quarter inch. And, you know, top dead center, they were a quarter inch down from the fucking deck. And the guy's like, that's, that's high, not, super high compression. Like, that's not possible. No, they were way down. Like, they oh. should be right up to the fucking top. And they were a quarter inch down. And so my compression ratio, instead of being like nine and a half, was like six to one. Because the motor, the motor made like 600 horsepower with like 20 fucking four pounds of boost or something. You know, so. With that setup like that? Yeah, with the blower and everything, because it had, the compression was so low. But with a blower, you could run low compression. I mean, yeah, you can run it a little bit lower, but you know the the boost makes up for the compression. You run more compression, less boost. It's yeah. give and take, you know. So, you know, it doesn't really matter with the the fuel management they have these days. So, um, yeah, it's still carburetor. Oh, it's fuel injection now, huh? Yeah, it's fuel, injection. fuel injection. Because yeah. yeah. you end up putting a Corvette motor in it. Yeah, I did that ninety six, ninety seven. Was that long ago? Yeah, I bought it from uh, some guy that totaled his Camaro Z twenty eight and bought it from him, and I've had it in there ever since. Wow, was that fucking long ago? Yeah, that, that was the second bad. motor after the old lumpy lump double hump head 350 thing that I had in it back in the day. That was a cool one. I would terrorize Solano side with. You used to come over to my neighborhood, which I live in an area called Solano side, and you come and just terrorize. I mean, that, that car was stupid. It was loud fucking, as fuck. Too, stupid yeah. badass. Thoughts in 240Z <laughs> with a 350 fucking just. The months the before speed stupid. rock crusher, just fucking every, <clears throat> every gear was like grinded, you know, like they never shifted that good. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was a fun car. It still is. It's just a fucking money pit. If I could have just sold that fucking thing back then. Dude, don't you probably have more than that than you do your Viper oh, right now? Easily, dude. That thing is just every. It's like a fucking never-ending Lego set that just gets taken <laughs> apart and put back together. And every time you do it, it's like twenty grand. You know, like oh fuck, it looks badass though. Yeah, it is. It'll, it'll be. You can't soon. sell it because that'd just be an instant loss. <sighs> yeah, I might as well get buried in that fucking thing. Dude. Seriously, I was I, watching one of those. I, yeah, I was watching your YouTube video and you doing that burnout with it with the red and the blue smoke. Oh yeah, how did Viper, you? Yeah. How did you do that? I bought those tires um, from some guy that worked at Kumo that they made like 10 sets for Dodge for like um, when they first had the car debut or whatever. They did a bunch of burnouts with it, the red and the white. And uh, he called me up and he's like, hey, we got, you know, we got uh, two tires left. He's like, do you want them? You just happen to figure the, rims. The tire, yeah, they're, they're, they're for ACR, like okay. they're for the, the Viper. And um, the tires are only like 380 bucks or 400 bucks a piece. He's like, I'll give them 250 each, you know, and I'm. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll send them over. And then they sat at my house for a couple of years. And then uh, I put them on the car. And um, I was going to do a burnout somewhere. I figured out my buddy my buddy would let me do it at his place. So I did it. And then fucking everybody on the internet was like, oh, congrats. You know, like, you know, thinking I was having like a boy and a girl and all that shit. <laughs> and I was like, no, man. I'm like, can I do just do a burnout without it meaning... I'm having kids. Like it wasn't about that. And just everybody was just gender reveal bullshit. Like a gender Fuck reveal. that. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, no, hell no. <laughs> but that wouldn't be a bad idea. How does that work though? Is there just like, like yeah, they just dye the rubber? Like it's just oh, okay. they soak them, soak them in something, you know? And, uh, the fuck is it? We got a fucking Jimmy. Elephant. Jimmy's There's dying. A- anytime we go around any any one of his friends, yeah, that's, that's fucking gross. They're all like Jimmy. You got to take care of yourself. And I'm all, that's yesterday. What he, that's what he says to me. Yeah. I'm like, bro. <coughs> yesterday we go, we were going, I got my balls waxed. He took me to this lady that he waxed. goes. Which that my lady waxes recommend. my balls. You got to go. I'm tearing, Darius. You got to go, bro. And oh, she balls. has, <laughs> she's got a bowl of, of taffy there. And he's eating fucking taffy. And his, he's like, oh shit, my crown fell off. And I, as I'm sitting here Full screaming in off. the background. And he's like, do you got any, he's asking this girl, Jesse, if she's got any super glue, because he wants to super glue it. Right. Next thing you know, we're at his ex-girlfriend's dental shop, and he's got like an infection and all this stuff, and he's like, no, just just put a fucking, give me some glue, I'll put it on myself. So he's got an infection. Just put some wood in there, put it, yeah. some wood? Two wood by cheese? four or something. Two by four. Yeah. Once you get up the wax those shoulders when you're at it, dude. <laughs> 
Really, it's just dude? popping up, man. Yeah, wow. He's, 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 you got a lot of hair. Just pick on Jimmy G Day. He's got a carpet. He is a carpet. He's a he's a, a, a human carpet. Sexy, yeah. dude. These are sexy. The flying carpet. I got hardwood floors down there. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did you guys meet each other? Uh, Qzar. Yeah, I think laser when, tag. I was dating this girl, and then uh, some guy from James's neighborhood ended up dating her after me, and then. Uh, it was like one of my best friends. We still yeah, talk. Yeah, he's doing really good right now. That's good. And I Actually, think she just she talked about me too much, and he was, Dane was like, "I gotta fuck, I gotta meet this guy. Like, who the fuck is this guy you're talking about? This racing cars and doing." Because he's this a shit. good driver too. Yeah, he was. Yeah, because we used to, me and him used to ditch cops. We used to steal cars, and we used to go. It's still like four or five pounds to go in front of the police station, and fucking do a burnout, and then take off to get the cops to chase us. And we were like, "Fucking, we even old enough to drive yet." That's when we always thought we could get in way more trouble than we would have. But when you're that young, they wouldn't have never known. Well, cops used to pull up next to us as we're walking down the street. We know it's you motherfuckers still in these fucking cars. And we're like, we don't have driver's license yet. We're like 14. <laughs> well, that, that was the good old days. Yeah, I remember I used to smash up and down my street so much that like, as soon as I would like blaze down like by the street by my mom's house, the cops would just show up to my house. Like, you know, somebody would call and complain. <coughs> and one day, um, my buddy had a car that sounded like mine. And he came over super fast, and my car was sitting in the driveway with the hood was down, but there was no motor in it. The cop pulls up and just fucking screaming, like, fucking Darius, you're speeding on the street, just chewing me out. And I'm like, he's like, I, it was your red car. And I popped the hood, and there's no motor in the car, and he was like, fuck. <laughs> he's like, that was another 510? No, it was like a Scirocco with a big super trap fucking muffler on it. But it was so funny that, like, you're the go-to. But yeah, he just did, you know. Uh, we're the go-to for all the cops. We know you're still in these fucking cars. I'm like, what are you talking about? We're, we're not even old enough to drive yet. We're kids. What do we you think smoke them. What do you think of Jimmy's nice hybrid that he's got out in front? You like it? Honda? He's always driving some little eco bucket. The other one was a little toaster. Uh, the toaster? Would you have like a Scion? Scion XB. I gave it to my ex mother in law my roommate now. Didn't I, didn't I see you on the top of Mount Dabble one day? Maybe. You remember I was, up, I was up there and like you were up there. I saw another one of my friends that I hadn't seen in like a long time. Actually, we're going to plan a little ride up there with a lot of the clubs in the area and stuff. And we're going to do a nice ride up there. Yeah, I just went up there the other day. It's nice. Really? Yeah. I haven't been up there in 20 fucking years. No, I saw you up there 10, 8, 6 I'm not, years I might ago. I went halfway up and we put red bicycles down. No, you're, I think you're wearing your toaster. I'm pretty sure it was you. I, I mean, you can't really miss this guy. Uh, you don't remember fucking fucking giant two baby. days ago. So you... I don't even know where the fuck I am right now, I actually. I got the Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you. What are you smoking a douche stick too? That better be weed. Oh, it's a vape. A little it's, vape thing. A, is that a jewel? What is that? It's Miko. A, Miko, yeah, a little, uh, yeah, smock or whatever. You don't even fucking smoke. Why would you smoke that? You're stressing me out, dude. Yeah, You're fucking stressing fucking me yelling out. yelling at me, man. Wait, where am I? You, try working with him, dude. Dude. The guy stresses me out. I, I wouldn't try. I would just give up. It sucks. <laughs> I go to LA. I'm surrounded by gay people. It's fucked. It's yeah, really I, bring him, I bring him to get some fucking the straight friends. Oh, yeah. nope. uh, no, we can't. I'm like, fuck, dude, just stress me the fuck out. They try to take me to gay bars and shit. I'm like, well, he I'm won't not go going there. to a gay bar. He won't Somebody's go going to gonna fucking bar. touch me and I'll fucking knock him out and then I'm going to yeah. hate crime fucking charge <clears> on me. I went to a girl's birthday party that night. She's like, come to this restaurant. I brought my buddy with me. And uh, one of my buddies, we were in San Francisco, my buddy texted me. He's like, where are you at? And I'm like, ha, ah, like we're in the Castro. Just just joking with him. Like two minutes later. Is that later, still as gay as it used to be? Two minutes mm. later, we're in the fucking middle of the Castro. Ted. Pride. Going, yeah, well, I don't even know what, whatever. Like, we were, like, at this restaurant, and, like, dudes kissing each other all over the place. And, like, there was a place called, like, the Moby Dick that we were standing out in front of. <laughs> and I, I looked There's a bar it. called The Swallow there, too. I mean, there was, I've there been was there one, before. There was one like, hand job on the front. I was like, what the fuck? And I look in there, dude, and it's just, like, it's too much. leather fucking <laughs> dresses and leather straps and shit. I was like, oh, and like, the whole entire bar was all dudes. There was no girls in there. It was just all that fucking sucks. dudes. That sucks. Did like, you get hit on? No, I don't think no. I kind of like distanced myself, and I was with a whole bunch of girls. I didn't like really walk around the streets, but there's a place out there on Polk Street. <laughs> it's called Polk Street. Polk. Oh, Polk Street. Oh, Polk. Polk. Okay, Street. I was like Polk Street. There, it's Polk Street. Does that make you feel better, fact? <laughs> no, it's called Polk Street. It's a big f- gay. Th- it's the original Gay Street. That yeah, way back in the day. Yeah. But there's a uh, pastrami place. There's, there's a, a fucking amazing fucking pastrami sandwich. I mean, it's, they just pile it on. You can actually put half the pastrami on the side and eat it later. It's fucking you heard it here but first. Jimmy loves to get meat at the Castro. I think he goes there for the salami, not the pastrami. <laughs> <Are> you guys? 
<laughs> As you guys are sitting over here rubbing each other's legs, <laughs> fucking, fucking homos. That's it. I'm, 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 you got that 80s yeah, salami. <laughs> No, this is not okay. Just put no, the whole got the thing in a line. sandwich. Don't even slice yeah. it up. <laughs> put the whole thing in the buns, you fucking homos. <laughs> so what's, your, what's the next thing for Darius now? You've been through car stunting. Just daddy you life, race man. cars for a little while. Yeah, you got two kids? Yeah, just one kid. <laughs> just um, playing with my kid, like reliving the childhood with him and doing shit that I never got to do. And, and We took yeah. a bicycle ride the other day. Oh, he was on his yeah. dirt bike, actually. He was riding his dirt bike, remember? Yeah, he's good. He's really good. Yeah, he's getting there. It's pretty cool. I just cool. want to teach him how to ride good enough you know because i know so many kids that, like their parents would never let them have motorcycles as a kid you know well, you didn't right you were I mean, riding like i had a dirt your bike. bikes and your dad had a bike too you were saying yeah i used to ride like with my dad on the back of his bike a couple times and uh you know like i had a dirt bike when i was a kid but it was like here's a dirt bike and ride it up and down the street do burnouts and right. i used to push that thing to my mom's <laughs> house all the way to moore lane and then get what? on yeah my YZ80, I'd push it for my mom's, you know, down Monument, over to Moore Lane, and I'd get on that little trail right there, and I'd ride oh, all... Oh, by the train, train tracks. Yeah, and yeah. I'd ride all the way down to, to where your house is, past, and then across that the train you tracks. Go there. And yeah. the big dirt bike track that you used yeah. to be there. Yeah, and I'd push it, badass. I'd push it fucking all the way, dude, like, through the neighborhoods. I'd just be walking my bike, you know, and then you look around, nobody's around, dude, fire no, that shit up, ah, like, rip through the neighborhood. You try to go back there, now the cops are just swarming you, it's fucked. Yeah, because... We just fucking shit. ride down Solano Way and fucking hop on the trails and fucking shoot out there with our guns and everything. I know, yeah. <clears throat> but you were with us at one time. We're out there. We have a bunch of stolen guns. We're like fucking 17, 18 years old. Tons of stolen guns. I think mine were registered. Yours, yours <coughs> were well, Mine definitely were not registered. I had 9 millimeter Berettas with 30-round clips in them. I mean, we had sawed-off shotguns. Jesus. And we're out in this, this area called Waterfront just blowing up fucking old boats, like wooden boats. Whatever the fuck's out there yeah. shooting. Next thing you know, the fucking military SUVs come swarming up. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we're like, what? What's going on? They like didn't really want to approach us. They were kind of just like standing back, like. Well, yeah, yeah. And then fucking the, then the sheriffs shotguns. came. The sheriffs came, and <coughs> I thought it was all military that time. Was it? I can't. I remember. think it was all military because they like looked at our yeah, guns and they're yeah. checking all our guns, like the clips, and they made us pour alcohol out because we weren't old enough to drink. But they gave us all of our guns back, fully yeah. fucking loaded and cocked and everything. Yeah. And, like cl- clips and everything. Here you go. We're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. We, fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, we had to go see like one little lawyer thing one time. And that was it. They never get press charges. Today, did, we get ticket, did we get tickets for that? I don't think we actually got a ticket. Trespassing or something? Yeah. Or no, they told us don't come back, but then we'll charge us trespassing. Yeah, yeah. But today, if that would happen, I'm telling you right now, that would be fucking front page news. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. It would well, be It just, would be front page news because it would be huge. I mean, white supremacist. Yeah. White supremacist, <laughs> white supremacist <laughs> gay basher caught with hundreds of guns and illegal. Like, it's funny shit. when they cast people like, like an arsenal in this house. He had like 200 rounds. It's right. Like, it's an arsenal. Like, it's like what? Get them. that's not an arsenal. That's like a day shooting. Yeah, Actually, that's that. sometimes not even a day shooting. Yeah, that's barely, dude. Give me some more of that. I know how sweet you are, Jimmy. I know you like a little bit of something Yeah, that's, what, that's what I am. It's funny. He lo- Jimmy looks like he's a hardass, but he's actually a fucking teddy bear sweetheart. Yeah, that's great. That's bullshit. That's why he's got a show of the gay. Dude, I've knocked out more motherfuckers than a lot of people around here. With, my hands with, your, with your looks? With my, with my hands looks really good kill. looks. <laughs> Dude, half my knuckles are missing. <laughs> I know. When you hit them with this one, it gets pushed back. It does. It's yeah. The x-ray, it shows the yeah. bones back here. Like, yeah. it wouldn't be able to do that, but I can yeah. still Wait, bend it. Actually, I, I probably... So the other day, we were in downtown LA, and my I put my card into the ATM. It was like... It was a sketchy-ass one, and it wasn't working. Like, it, it was like your uh, ATM's broken, but they wouldn't spit my card back out. So I called the number on there like, sorry, we can't help you. So then I just started fucking punching it because I was like wasted. That'll work. And then the thing came out. <laughs> but my fucking knuckle is completely fucked. The Fonzie thing does work. Does work. It does. It, does. it, it does. totally Not works. Not with just jukebox. It happens with ladies too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so you're just being a full time dad and not doing anything yeah, else. Yeah, I just, find that hard to believe. Just daddy life, you know. Like you got all these bikes in here and you got all these cars. <laughs> how, you many don't do anything? how many bikes those do you have in your all, inside your house? Your those are all your bikes, man. Those are One, my bikes. two, three, four, five. I see at least five, it's, probably five or six like motorcycles inside the house. And there's one out there I can see. Yep. How many bikes? Which one went in the swimming pool? What's what? Which one went in your swimming pool? Ah, uh, that one. One right there. Did you get it running again? Yeah, same. A couple days later. Really? Well, just clean the carburetor out. Just change uh, the oil. Carbs? No, they didn't do the carbs. They just um, spark plugs. You know, blew the water out. Started up, it blew fucking water out the back. <laughs> took the pipe off. Let it all come out. Um, you know, bikes are meant to get wet. You know, they like, they, they ride like in the women. rain. You can hose them off. Like, 
you know, people that saw that video, they're like, oh my God, the bike's fucking ruined. What an idiot. You know, like I ended up making like six or seven grand off that video of selling it. So Shut, like, wait, yeah, who did you all, sell it to? Like, True TV, ridiculousness. Wait, yeah. they'll buy it from you? Yeah, fuck yeah. So Absolutely. ridiculousness is all videos that people, that, that they you gotta buy? Like get, you got to like put it on, like you can't contact them directly. So you can't like hit them up. You know, they say if you send us videos, we won't use yeah. it. You have to put it on YouTube. It gets popular on YouTube. And then they contact you. Okay. And that, well, now it's, it used to be a little bit different. Like you used to get contacted directly. Now they have all these companies like Juke and, Midi, Juke and Video and Viral Hog. And those people go around. And they, you know, they'll see a, like a really popular video, and they're like, "Hey, we want your video, you know, license it to us." And then they'll take it, they'll put it on their channel, and they'll say, "For licensing, contact Viral Hog." And then when it gets sold through them, they give you like, I think, sixty percent of the the money that the they royalties get. from it. Yeah, it's not bad. But, yeah, like my mom's video, the one in the car, yeah. made a killing off that video. Really? Yeah, I had MSNBC come over here, like set up cameras, do interviews with me and my mom. Shut the fuck up! Yeah. Really? That was that big, points. dude. Huge. That one went like a, a million hits within like a week. Wow, that's crazy. And it was funny because like as I was driving, like I never really could look at her because I was concentrating on yeah, driving. Right. And then once I came home and I watched it, I was like, oh my god, dude! It was. Did you feel bad for Rosemary? She was closing her eyes the whole time. Hell no! You know what the shit she did to me as a kid? She really? Used to torment me, dude. With stuff and look like how that. you turned out. Yeah, so now I'm fucking with everybody. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a bit. She used to like, you know, always jump out beyond walls and scare me. And, really? Like, oh I can't God. see that. My She's mom, such dude. a sweetheart. Your mom I, did this to you? Oh, she would always just like her, scare like me and Scottish fuck with accent. me, dude. Like I remember, I was like, as a kid, I was like so embarrassed to be like caught in like Kmart, you know, like because your yes. friends would see you and they'd be like, oh, you fucking shopping, shopping at Kmart. Kmart, like your Kmart clothes, like every, you know. With, yeah, that your, was, I remember that. Like, your hair had to be cool. You had to have, like, Levi's red tag jeans. Like, all this right shit or else. Like, all the kids would make fun of you, you know? Yeah. And my mom would go to fucking Kmart. <laughs> she'd go to the fucking front of the store and fucking page me over the intercom. Shut up. Yeah, she'd do shit like that and fuck with me. Like, there's a zombie con. I'd be like, fuck! Like, the whole store. Shut be, up, dude. dude. Rosemary did not do that. Yeah, oh she did do that. God. She would do that shit to me constantly, bro. Oh, my God. That's she, fucking she'd, funny. She'd, like, see some, like, people wearing, like, hijabs and shit. He'd be like, is that your uncle? Is that your, your, <laughs> is that your grandma? Or just, like, messing She'd always... She, my mom fucks with people. Because like, he's, like, he's half, like, Middle Eastern. Yeah, half Persian, Persian, yeah. Persian. And then yeah, your I mom fucks Scottish. I saw the hookah yeah. in here. So it's like, then the mom's Scottish. Yeah, last name's Middle Eastern. Thank God for the half Scottish. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Save me. <coughs> yep, That's hella sure. funny. Yeah. Uh, so nothing new for Darius. No new videos coming out on YouTube. No, dude. I don't give a fuck about social media, about Instagram, like just any like when I put something on Instagram, you know, it's I won't tag do all these tags. Like people put like fucking thousand tags. Like I don't care to get any followers or like I got a lot of feedback from the video we posted in here a couple weeks ago. On the pool table. Oh, yeah, you were. On the were fucking. You fucking hurt yourself. On the hoverboard. No, he's like, now. here, I want you to teach you how to run a hoverboard. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is going to kill me. I'm, like, I'm already drunk, fucked up. And he goes, okay, let's get on top of the pool table right here and do it. I'm like, wait, now you're creating a bigger place for me to fall the first time getting on a fucking hoverboard? <laughs> yeah, I so haven't seen that video yet, actually. Uh, it was, I went <laughs> live for the wall and I posted for 24 hours. Like, hell of people were like, dude, are you, is that really your first time? I go, dude, I was drunk and this fucking guy talked me into this shit. That's the only time you do shit like that is when you're drunk. I know. We'll I'm drink sure some more because we want to get him to do some dumb shit not, today. No. Oh, yeah. That's why, like, every year, like, I have the pool party. I've never been invited like, to. Thanks, ten, fucker. Ten years. And, uh, you know, every time I'd be doing wheelies out back. But, I mean, you know, like, doing it professionally, like, you ride so much that, like, I've done stunt shows. Yeah. Fucking drunk. And, like, you know, you get so good at something. Yeah. You know, it's you can pretty much do it no matter what. That's and, how I'm uh, on stage. Too. You had like a like, rapper here one time for your yeah. birthday, didn't you? Yeah, had Richie Rich here. Yeah. Richie Rich, that's yeah. what it was. Richie Rich. You just tell me it was too short. I thought it was kind of. They yeah. all look the same. Richie Rich. That's racist. Awesome. I just said because that because I saw. Um, I went to. Uh, I like Richie Rich. You know, Five and Dime Tattoo. Yeah, Frank. You know Frank. I know. I know the, I know the yeah, shop. Yeah. So I did like. Um, I did wheelies inside of Five and Dime, for like their grand opening or whatever. And Richie Rich was there, and uh, my buddy went up to him and was talking to him and. and uh, my buddy was like, yeah, I'm with Darius. He's like, oh, Darius fucking uh, wheelies under the helicopter and all, yeah. that, all that shit. And I'm like, damn, you know, you know. So I started talking to him, built up a little bit of a relationship with him. And then... Uh, He's still out of Oakland? No, I'm not sure where he lives. But yeah, so he... um, I hit him up. I'm like, dude, you got to come fucking spit. You know, he's got all the songs with Tupac. And like, fucking, I love Tupac, so... Well, he started with 4 and 5. Yeah, That was his first band. Yeah, yeah. 
that like the shit we listened know. to like way back. That in shit the day. we used to bump back in the day. That could slap some fucking twelves yeah. and fifteens. That's what we used to listen. Groupy ass side, bitches. Sideshow. Side show, groupy ass bitches. Yeah. Whole court in the streets. Yeah, that's, anybody that's don't know old. that's the original Bay Area fucking hardcore yeah, rap. That's the shit we used to listen to. That's the shit we used to buy like the fucking uh, bootleg tapes at the fucking Kiss, the yep. flea market. I don't think they ever made a CD. I think they only made nah, cassette yeah, tapes. Yeah. That was before CDs. If people don't know what CDs are anymore. On a side swap meet, go there and buy all the bootleg tapes. I used to buy the two short tapes there back in the day. All the bootleg shit. That's where you could buy like the fucking boombox. It was like four feet long. With, There's like, still boombox guys down there. Equalizers on the front. Fucking. That was yeah, cool. That was those cool days. Yeah, they still have beatbox guys down there. Yeah, really? Yeah, there's still guys there with all the fucking old stereos. I'd love to go there. Like when you're a kid, you buy like little snap pops and shit, and like all like little oh, like yeah. knives, like cool little knives and Everything. shit. There. Chinese stars, Chinese stars, yeah. <laughs> like ninja stars. Oh, like switchblades. I still buy all that, I think. Yeah, I remember I got suspended from school having a switchblade. I was like playing with it in class, and it fucking went flying across the room. Like a land, butterfly knife or a yeah, butterfly knife. Yeah, butterfly yeah. knife, yeah. Oops. Landed at the teacher's desk and I was like, fuck. You're done. Yeah, I got suspended for like five days. Like so seventh I got expelled in 10th grade for stabbing a kid. My mom was like, don't fucking bring that to school. Don't bring that to school. Dude, not yeah. if you bring that to school, like you're oh, going to be yeah. all over CNN. Yeah. My course. grandpa mm-hmm. used to get in trouble if he didn't bring his gun to school because he had archery practice for his what? 22. It's 22. And he's telling me, he goes, I'd get in trouble if I didn't bring my gun to school. Now you kids can't have them there. Yeah. <laughs> A little different nowadays. I wonder if the kids had guns, if if that would be like smarter, and then no, there would be no school shootings. No, nah, those usually charged. They used to do uh, what do they call it when they come in. They call the teachers come in. They fuck your lockers up. Everybody's locker in one day. Surprise fucking raids on it's our lockers lo- to look for guns. They'd, and sometimes they would leave nice because they were looking for guns. Yeah. But when we grew up, it was a lot of shootings, way more shootings. Yeah, I remember like my first year at College Park was the first year that they actually banned smoking on campus. They used to have a smoking section. For all the, the kids that went there. And, and then, is this high school? Yeah, yeah. And then the first year I went there, they, they stopped smoking. But I used to just walk down the hallways smoking cigarettes all the time. Yeah, the here. teachers would see me, they put that shit out. I'm like, all right. Because they were just out. jealous that they couldn't smoke. They just, you know, they wouldn't like, wouldn't she, be a big deal, you know? Annie, the school narc at Olympic, used to give them to us. She smoked these fucking green moors or horrible cigarettes. But we, were, we didn't have one. Annie, give me a cigarette. God damn it, buy your own fucking cigarettes. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I remember fucking Olympic. The first day I went to Olympic, there was a huge fight. Everybody ran out in the back. It was it like thrifties or what was that store? Yeah, Rayleigh's out back. Rayleigh's and like all the kids went out back, and these two dudes were fighting. And the fucking there was a female principal. She came out. Marcy Miller. She came out, and some kid picked up a rock and just fucking beamed her right in the head with it. And it was I, a straight juvenile school. We all. I went was to. just traumatized. I was like, this is not because at a normal school, kids. Don't you know they're not bad enough, or they don't, and to do something like that, you yeah. know, to, to we were the worst of the worst that all went to Olympic, and we literally have like carloads from other schools come up to try to fuck us up. We'd go outside with like ten dudes and just beat the yeah. fuck it out of all. The, the, we were the baddest, the, the worst bad. kids about like all the Contra Costa County school districts. And ended up true there. story. I was student body president of that high school. Uh, are you fucking <laughs> yeah, kidding student me? Body president Jimmy Jew for president. How long did you still go lives for? on? I went there for six years. <laughs> six, six years. years? When, you, when you can make up, like, you can make up like two years of credits in like a week. I sold hella weed there, and I banged hella bitches I did not want to leave actually That's, when it was coming up on June graduation I seen the principal Marcy Miller that same chick and then I'm like she goes so you're graduating I go nope I need like 15 credits I'll see you next year and she's like I gave you the credits I go no you didn't I'll be here next year I did not want to leave because dude I used to bang chicks I sold weed I was fucking doing hella good you were loving high school loving was, high school that was cool yeah why didn't you go Two to the college chicks had my kids why didn't you go to college then? That's like even better. Yeah, that's for smart there's people. There's no Olympic college. <laughs> yeah, there's no Olympic college. <laughs> Olympic was the shit though. Back when I had my ponytail. <laughs> Wait, I, you have, so you actually used to have a ponytail, Jimmy? I had, oh, it was yeah. shaved on the sides and long on the front and back. That it was is not a so trashy. Oh, it was no, awesome. I was a stoner. Yeah. And skinny. A skinny, oh, so a skinny, skinny ponytailed stoner. Steroids are a hell of a drug, huh? Yes, they Make are. you grow a bunch of hair all over your back like that? Yeah. Uh, Why yeah. don't you get that wax off? I'm just curious. It's fucking manly. Really? There's no reason to do it. I, I, I fucking wax my junk because I hate a girl stopping during a blowjob going, oh, I got this fucking hair in my mouth. Well, you don't get that no more. You never, ever get that. I've had hair in my balls since I was like 17. Yeah, I mean, I started shaving, but I clipped my balls all the time with a razor. So I said, fuck it. I just started getting waxed, and I love it now. And Jesse takes good care of me. She's, she's Why not just shave it? Because the clippers fucking clip my balls. Yeah, dude, that hurts. I've had that clip, happen. You know, He's a shaver. How are you going like to shave your balls shaver. are wrinkly? Like a straight shaver. Like a, wait, like a razor blade? Yeah, a razor. That's what, you, that's what you do? Yeah, just razor. You do that wait, every day. How do you, what, you stretch your balls out and shave it? 
That's fucking weird, bro. You can't. You've never shaved your balls with a razor. No. Have you ever cut yourself? No. Wait, is what? it just like a Bic razor or it's like, like a, when you shave your face? Yeah. With. You know, how about next time you have Darius shave your balls and see how good he does? No, see if you like more. No. See if you like waxing or. You gotta shave your own balls, dude, because you gotta know where you know. You gotta. Yeah. But this was this. I've mean, nice. chicks' vaginas with razors. That's sexy. I don't get in that little, little lip thing, so I let them do that. But. Yeah. No lips. If you have to do it, then you probably don't want to be messing with those six. Yeah. With, with the pussy so bad, you got to shave it yourself. Well, Jimmy can't well, smell sometimes anymore. Sometimes they wake up and then they get all weird, like, where am I? You know, it's fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy can't smell anymore, so he can't really tell if a pussy's I, good or bad or no, not. I've been eating a lot of pussy lately, and it's like, I think that's part of what I have this affection in my throat. Yeah, dude. Wait, is it an though. infection? Because you said that was, you've been telling me that it's your allergies. It lately. is my allergies. But it's an infection. Dude, you gotta stop eating that pussy, bro. It'll give you fucking throat cancer. I can't. I love eating pussy. When that chick gets off, and now they all squirt now because I'm using my fingers, and then it's amazing. It's such an accomplishment. Oh, dude. He doesn't even change his bed sheets anymore. I just did the other day for the first time in probably two years. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Usually, if I meet a new chick, I'm on a date, I change them. You know, it's like I want a fresh start. You know, new fresh start. I wash. You need to clean your room. If I I have, I just throw them sheets away and go buy new sheets. I do. Same. My mom buys a new, my, new, a new duvet cover, a whole fucking. No, the duvet covers are expensive. They're a couple hundred bucks. It's not as bad as sleeping in some stanky. Ugh. I don't give a fuck. I know you don't. <laughs> Dude, no, I really don't care. See, that's why I need a good woman to take care. When I was married, my wife fucking she washed the sheets all the time. I mean, you I would never to. be married. Let's talk about ditching more cops. I like ditching we cops. Could, we could talk all I, day I, about I, honestly, cops. I haven't cop. I think in a while. Can, what Thank did you, you ditch a cop on, Jimmy? Like your little, t- your like fucking old Arby's man bike? Prius? My, your Prius? It's not a fuck Prius, a Honda inside. Might as well like be a, a fucking Prius. Prius. Did, did you get in the carpool lane and he didn't have the sticker <laughs> to chase you and you just you got away? <laughs> He's like, shit, I can't go in that lane. He's getting away. You guys can both eat a He's dick. He's in the carpool lane. <laughs> I remember shit. getting pulled over. I was in Richmond in my 510. Got pulled over by a CHP. And like I was, you know, I'm not a big dude now. I was like a little kid. Yeah. I look like a little kid, like fucking super little kid. I got pulled over by a CHP and he's like, where's your license and everything? And I'm like, I don't got one. And I'm like, I have a permit. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm going to my friend's house down the street and he's 24 and like I can drive legal with him. He's like, all right, get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, they don't do cool shit like that. No, That's dude. why everybody fucking hates cops. Like, dude, be cool. Be the, you know, fucking Andy Griffith. But like what we got, which was, you know, more than kids get today, you know, back in like the 60s and 50s, yeah. like they got way more. Way more. Way more. Like they pull you over drunk and they'd be like, all right, Jimmy, we're going to follow you home. <clears throat> dude, they you know? like, yeah, let you go home with DUIs. Or my uncle got arrested for three DUIs in one day. What? <clears throat> Came home, he was coming home from the bar at night, got pulled over, got out a couple hours later, went to the bar, got drunk, got pulled over, and later on that night got fucking, got let out, then later on that night got pulled over again. Do you have three years in one day on his record? I heard back in the, I think the 40s or <clears throat> something, it was it like, it was like, it was like an excuse. Like if you got in an accident, you'd be like, I was drunk. And they'd be, and they'd be oh, like, oh, oh well, okay. how can we, you know, right. him? like he was drunk. Like, what do you, and then that was it. Like there was, I you wish. know, that was your excuse. Like I was drunk. How can you, you know, like I can't be liable. Right. Because I was drunk. And then that was it, you know. And then huh. the police yeah. department started to see dollar signs. They're like, dude, everything in America is yeah. just getting fucking pussified, dude. Like Way everything. Just, trophy. Every, everything get you know, everything like that. It's just everything gets watered down constantly. Is there any way you think we can fix that to prevent that from going on? Vote for Trump I mean, again. Not like in big cities. Like I'm sure if you go to like you know, Montana, like they still got gangster kids that work on farms that are fucking right. tough yeah. and like, you know, small town, you know, cities. But then, and when you're in big cities like this, it's like trying to find a relationship, like a lasting relationship in a big city. You got to go to like, find like a, a country girl or somebody who's not mm-hmm. exposed to all this fucking bullshit. Yeah, shit, you're from Thailand or something. Thailand? Get your, get your mind out of the gut, well, my, That's well, what my dad did. Thailand? That's what my oh, dad did. Go, go, Philippines. Go, 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 God, what is wrong? My dad got a Russian, he got a Ukrainian mail order bride when I was like 10. He was like 50, yeah. Ukrainian bitches are crazy. 24, I almost got killed by one. They're she hot. was 24, 25. Her name was Olga. Little, little like that whore. That not so hot. I, I've renamed that chick when I brought her over here. Her name's yeah. not Olga anymore. Yeah, right? It's Cinnamon. Yeah. It's cinnamon. Yeah. cinnamon. <laughs> I'm going to name you Camry. Not bunny. That's fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I've been to Europe a bunch of times. Like, girls over there are super pretty. Ukrainian chicks are... Ukrainian, are Polish, crazy. Polish girls, yeah. Estonian I don't like girls. accents, though. I don't like, I love like accents. Eastern I mean, I European love, accents, Well, though. the Russian ones are a little bit harsh, but... Ukrainian is basically Russian. Yeah, yeah the I mean, shit. they have a little bit of a it's, a... it's a rough language, you know? Yeah. yeah it's not but very it's, romantic. No. Yeah. 
Especially when they're mad at you. But anything's better than having like a Valley Girl white chick fucking yelling. <gasps> you don't at like that? Fuck no. I I'm, I'm from SoCal, so I'm all about that. <laughs> yeah, no. I just no. hate white chicks. They're fucking garbage. Yeah, every girl that I've ever seen you with is white. I've never seen you with an Asian. Never seen you. With I had to lower a, my standards just to get laid. Okay. Girl. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, everybody is different. But any ladies for you in the? Are you single right now? What's up, Darius? Yeah, single. Video? Just. Uh, I got some girls for you, man. I'll hook you up. No, he does okay, actually I'm have pretty hot chicks out of L.A. I'm good. You seem. Oh, you Jenny, seem like Jenny you. Jenny would love him. Yeah, Jenny you're. Lace. You always ask me, Jimmy, to like hook you up with girls, but I don't know any girls that would like want to be in a room with you for more than five minutes alone. But Darius, I feel like I mean he's but got. If a, he made it to six minutes, they'd be getting maybe. Right, <laughs> I'd be getting them wet. But Darius has a Balenciaga shirt on. He's got a Lambo. A like he's got. You a, know what? He Blenci- doesn't know what Balenciaga I is. I thought that was. I thought this was Barcelona. No, dude. No, dude. You gotta get some <laughs> it, it glasses. Does, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> what's a Balenciaga? Bal- Bal- what's a Balenciaga? What is it? It's it's a clothing brand. Clothing brand. I think oh. okay. jeans and shoes. And okay. Then. Yeah, but no, I got. I'm trying to. You know, I got my baby mama, so. Are you guys like together or no? No, we're not together, but you know, we Co- see each other a lot. Being and, good yeah. co-parents. Yeah. You guys gonna make any any more babies or no? Maybe, maybe I don't know. Really? I don't know, possibly. I like that. That's like a mo- that's a nice modern day relationship. You know, you guys get along. I just, yeah, I always wanted that like family life, like sit around dinner table, I shit get it that too. I never had. You know, so I, like Same. I'm always like striving towards that goal. But it, now I realize it's, hard it's a, a shit lot bag. harder than uh than I realized. You know. It is. So, yeah, it's a lot harder. I want a relationship, but again, I love my freedom. Yeah, I know, yeah. So you see your kids how many times a week? Like, you guys trade off every yeah, other week? or every day. Every day? Yeah, yeah his kids always They live here. nearby? or Yeah, like 20 minutes away. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that far? Well, yeah. Seeing that you're way up on this hill, just being down below the hill is fucking 20 minutes away. Right so I'm like, yeah. it says 1.7 miles on the thing, and it's like 20 minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? Did you get lost coming here? Why are you fucking drive so fast down my street? He drives so fast. I was watching you on the camera. Well, you came around that corner he like 35 miles an hour. I mean, every fucking stop Honda sign. Insight. The thing doesn't yeah. really no, go the fucking Yeah, but you probably it's... didn't let off the gas since you left Solano side. You, you can't. Know. The fucking thing will never carry back up to speed. This motherfucker is sitting here <clears throat> on his phone. He's sitting here on his phone while driving. Hey, it took no me from Conquer belt. to You're get f- up to 25 miles an hour. No, I don't hear the thing so slow. You're fucking. He doesn't put a seatbelt on, so the whole time he's going beep, 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 beep. And he's You don't wear a seatbelt? No. If it wasn't a law, I would. But I'm saying fuck the law. Jimmy, you need to fucking wear a seatbelt. If I'm going to be in business with you, you're going to wear a fucking seatbelt. He doesn't seat want belt. to rash his, his shoulder hair off when yeah. he slides yeah. it across. I don't want to wear my shoulder hair off. <laughs> you, should, you should wear a seatbelt, man. I have another friend no. like that. I mean, with it's you, just, I would. If I hopped in your car, I would definitely oh, put a seatbelt on. That's the first thing you do. And Michelle, I would definitely put a seatbelt on because that fucking chick flipped the fuck. The most times I've ever flipped a car was with her. How about how you get hurt? I suppose he jumped out of the fucking, after the moonroof popped out, I jumped out, or the seat top popped yeah. out. I jumped out with. I jumped on the hood. This is awesome. I said, I never flipped a car before until then. And she was fucked up. Her back got fucked up. Yeah. But I was fine. She's been in another mirror when she got like in that wreck <clears throat> when she was sitting on some guy's lap. Yeah. On Willow Pass. They got hit head on or whatever. And she popped that thing in her chest. Yep. She and her, fucked, her back's always been fucked up. That's like, my God. She put me through some shit. Have you, ever gotten, each other have shit. you ever gotten roadhead while going over 100 miles an hour, Darius? No. No? Uh, uh-huh. I feel like that would be something that you, like, over 100 miles. Away, I'd be scared to have anything near my dick. I, I don't know. Like, I just feel like that would be the, like one little the ultimate move, rush. I could be a fucking tranny. You, you know, are, you fuck, are a two, tranny. Cloth. One more, you could be a tranny. What? He's a we tranny. 100 miles an hour, I don't want no mouth near my dick. You know what I'm saying? Because like, the if they chick, bite off, little, boom, crap, become... boom, your dick's gone. Oh, they bite you, bite it. Well, yeah. they could. The chick, you know, fucking no, but you, no. 100 miles an hour. So, you, you, I mean, you, I so you're, you're saying that if you lost your dick, that you would turn into a pussy? It doesn't work. Do you know how, you said tranny. You said you'd tranny. Be a tranny. Well, if you have no dick, the guy cuts off his dick. It's a fucking thing. No, right? it's not. Do you know how they actually do it? They take. They, yeah. I, just, I don't want They know. take That's it. Fucking they thing. butterfly it down, you know and then they, gay they invert it. They invert they it. Put it back into you your, 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 gay your, your man-made pussy. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. But you can't once you cut your dick off. It's done. It's done. Yeah. Well, on that note. Thanks, Darius, for coming to the shit show. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Darius, for coming we're on our go show. We're going to watch you do some crazy shit right now. All right. Let's Cheers. Yeah, we're going to go outside and watch you do some wheelies or something. Yeah, you're going to run in the back. I'm not Fuck going in the yeah. back. Did you ride that little pink go-kart I have? You did, huh? No. Oh, wait. The ones yeah. we're racing in here? <laughs> no, the one out front, the pink go-kart. No, but we, we raced go-karts around here. Okay, night. so how about we just <clears throat> make Jimmy ride some shit? That's fine. No. Or he no. Was-
He nope. also learned hey, how nope. to ride a motorcycle. Thanks for listening in to The Shit Show. Don't ride a motorcycle while drinking. Don't ride a motorcycle, period, because they're dangerous and stupid. Thank you to our sponsor, Yolly Bird Cannabis. Check them out online. And also shout out to our amazing producer, Christopher McCone, and to our theme song, Skies, by the band Miles to Nowhere. Go check them out on iTunes. Bye.